All right, hello everyone and welcome to the session on how to tackle problems related to clocks. All right, fundamentally, this is going to be an absolutely simple session revolving around certain basic properties of circles, okay? So I promise you, we're gonna have fun in this. So who do we have with us? All right, so Chitra, Mahesh, Pradeep, Manisha, we have here Breksha and Prashansa. All right, so I hope I'm audible and visible. So just quickly give me a thumbs up and uh, we shall be ready to begin. All right. Uh, okay, so let's let's first... Uh, okay, Manisha says hi, of course. Yeah, hi, Manisha there. So if I'm audible and visible, guys, just give, give me a quick thumbs up. Then we how to prepare for IMO. All right. Then we you can watch the video that we did a while back. Yeah. Um, in that you'll, you'll get to know about the International Math Olympiad, but how to prepare, uh, we may do a separate session on that. All right, so Prashansa has given a thumbs up, so I believe I'm audible and visible. So as I said, in this session, uh, you're going to be learning, first thing, the basic concepts of a clock. And I promise you, the basic fundamentals are very simple, okay? And then using the ideas that you've learned, you're going to uh, uh, solve some questions related to clocks, okay? Very good. Come on, let's move on now. And uh, I've got to tell you about the Telegram channel in case there are new students who are joining us through the session. Uh, there will be a link that you will find in the description box. Make sure you click that link and then you'll be able to join the channel. Because when you join the channel, this is what you get, you know, the revision questions, the session updates, uh, the homework questions, the session notes. This is going to be important because session notes uh, would be the PDF files of the sessions that we're doing now uh, with uh, uh, handwriting on that. Okay, so they will be helpful if you want to revise these ideas later on and they will also be certain quizzes. All right, so I'm doing great. I hope all of you are doing awesome. All right, so come on, let's move on now. And as I said, we will start off with the basic concepts of a clock, okay? I'm sure you guys have seen a clock, yeah? So I'm gonna bring on a clock now and let's uh, start off with the basic ideas, okay? Are you guys ready? Muskan, good afternoon. Or shall we say good evening? Never mind, good afternoon. Sakshi, again. Uh, Archit, uh, we have Sayyad Aman. Sakshi, Manisha. All right, awesome, cool. Christian Huygen is usually credited as the inventor of clock. Awesome, I didn't know that. All right, so shall we start this thing together now? Yeah? If you guys are familiar with any of these facts, like JP has just said that uh, Christian Huygen is usually credited as the inventor of the clock, I would love it. In case some of you also know uh, some of these amazing fun facts, do share them out uh, in the comments later. All right, uh, we have uh, Sneha, uh, we have Deepak as well. Okay, a lot of students are joining now. Anshul is here. Uh, we have Manisha again, we have Prasansa, we have uh, Sheetal. Pranita, uh, and then who else? Yes, Chitra. Yes, Chitra, your chat is visible there. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm gonna bring on a clock now. This is how a clock looks like. And I'm sure you guys have seen how a clock looks like, right? And uh, these are the faces, you know, this is called the face of the clock, yeah, as you can see. And then you have a second hand, okay? You have a minute hand, and then you have the hour hand. All right, and then if I go a little deeper, Okay, these would be the divisions, right? And then this angle would be 30 degrees. Okay, uh, there's no need to worry, Anshul. We, we are getting started. Okay, thank you, Sakshi, for that. All right, cool. Now, let's, you know, question as to why 30 degrees. Why not something else? Let's dig a little deeper. Now, when you have a circle, okay, you must have studied this in, in geometry that the complete angle is going to be how much? This is going to have a 360 degree angle, right? That is called the complete angle. Now, a clock has been divided into how many equal parts? You have 12 hours here, right? So a clock is divided into 12 equal parts. Okay, so 360 degrees is divided into 12 parts, or I can say 12 hours. Okay, let's just say 12 parts. Let's just say 12 parts. That, that's a lot simpler, okay? Now, I wanna know one part 
will have how many degrees? We are familiar with this method, right? Sakshi, I have raised my voice just now. I hope that that is audible now, yeah? Cool, so 360 degrees is the complete circle and we are considering circular clocks here, all right? So 360 degrees has been broken into 12 equal parts, right? I want to know one part will have how many degrees? This is a fairly simple idea. So what do we do here? We cross multiply, right? So one gets multiplied to 360 degrees, yeah? Now this is equal to x gets multiplied with 12, right? And what do I do now? I simply divide with 12 on both the sides and get the value of x as 360 degrees divided by 12. And this is how each division of one hour is going to have an angle of 30 degrees, okay? This is the reason why it is 30 degrees. There is, remember, a logical explanation for pretty much everything, all right? So now you understand why this one hour is going to be 30 degrees, okay? We're starting off very nice and easy and slowly, all right? Because as long as you can understand these fundamentals, you're gonna stall the problems just like that, okay? So this is 30 degrees, well done. Now, we come to the next concept, okay? So as you've just learned, this angle here is going to be equal to 30 degrees, okay? And uh, all of these are going to be 30, 30, 30. Together, all of it will be added to 360 degrees. Okay, well done. Now let's talk about the minute hand and the hour hand, all right? First, let's talk about the minute hand, okay? Now, you guys tell me in the comments now, a minute hand in one hour, in one hour, or let's just say 60 minutes, in 60 minutes, a minute hand is going to cover how many degrees? In 60 minutes or one hour? Yes, it is going to cover how many degrees? It is going to, in one hour, it is going to cover the complete 360 degrees, right? The minute hand? Yes, like Manisha has mentioned there, 360 degrees. Santosh has also given the answer. We have uh, Amu here, uh, Prashansa also. Yeah, so you understand. The minute hand in 60 minutes or one hour is going to cover an angle of 360 degrees, okay? Now again, I want to know in one minute, it is going to cover how many degrees, okay? Again, I will be using the same idea of direct proportions, cross multiplying, yeah, cross multiply, then what do I get? One multiplied with 360 degrees is equal to x multiplied with 60, right? And now what do I do to figure out the value of x? I will divide by 60 on both the sides, and x is going to be equal to 360 degrees divided by 60, which means six degrees. Okay, keep this in mind. All right, because this is going to be very, very important, right? So the minute hand is going to cover six degrees in one minute, okay? I would suggest that you write it down. Please make sure that you note this valuable bit of information because this is something that we would be using uh, throughout the problems that we do in clock, okay? So the minute hand in one minute is going to cover six degrees and you've also understood this logically as to uh, why it is going to do it, okay? Well done. Now let's move on to the hour hand, all right? So hour hand, I will do it here. The hour hand. Okay, now tell me. The hour hand in one hour or 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, the hour hand is going to cover how many degrees? Okay, I'm gonna rub this out first. Okay, the hour hand in one hour or 60 minutes is going to cover how many degrees? Well done. I, I think that is Santosh followed by Manisha. And then who else? Okay, the hour hand is going to cover this much, right? Like let's suppose the time now is uh, four o'clock, okay? Then in one hour, the hour hand is going to move from four o'clock to four to five, right? So it is going to cover an angle of 30 degrees. Well done, like a lot of you are saying. We're talking about the hour hand, guys, okay? So in 60 minutes, the hour hand is going to cover an angle of 30 degrees, right? Now, simple, I want to know in one minute, the hour hand will cover how many degrees? Because directly related, again, the idea of cross multiplication, yeah? Then what will I get? x multiplied with 60 is equal to 1 multiplied with 30 degrees, right? And now to figure out the value of x, what I do is I divide by 60 on both the sides and x is going to be equal to 30 degrees divided by 60, which is half, or I can also say this as 0.5 degrees, right? 
well done well done so that's going to be 0 0.5 or half whichever way you prefer so the r hand is going to cover 0 0.5 degrees in one minute i'm sure you guys are watching this session with papers and pens along with you because how else are you going to practice the problems make sure you write this information down this is very very important okay you will be using this to solve pretty much all of the questions that we're going to be doing so far the minute hand in one minute is going to cover six degrees and the hour hand in one minute is going to cover 0 0.5 degrees right so all of us have understood this basic idea right the minute hand in one minute covers 6 degrees and the hour hand in one minute covers 0 0.5 degrees. Like Manisha says, we have paper and pen. Well done, my dear, well done. Always watch these sessions with a paper and pen by your side, right? Well done. So we have understood this and I'm sure uh, you guys have also noted this information down, right? Well done. So I'm going to move on now. I'm going to move on. Um, okay, so this is the part that we have covered. So now I'll be asking you this. So the minute hand in one minute, six degrees, right? In two minutes, 12 degrees. In three minutes, 18 degrees. In four minutes, 24 degrees. It, this is not that hard to understand, right? So this is fairly simple. In a similar way, like this is what we covered, yeah? Now I want you to understand this as well. The R hand covers half a degree per minute, right? So this is my question. You've got to answer this. Uh, the hour hand, hour hand in 30 minutes, okay, is going to cover how many degrees? Come on, go ahead and uh, uh, exp uh, understand. Okay, please explain second one. Okay, Pradeep, we have already seen this. Speed of minute hand, as you've seen it, is 6 degrees per minute, right? Like we have seen it here, right? Look. 60, 60 minutes in 360, so in one minute it will cover 6 degrees, right? So our hand uh, covers 30 degrees. Look, the R hand moves from this point to this point, or this point to this point, or this point to this point, right? So it only covers 30 degrees in 60 minutes, which means in one minute, 0 0.5. Okay, that's how. All right, now coming back to the question. This was the question, and uh, a lot of you have said 15 as the answer. All right, well done, well done, guys. Awesome, that is going to be the correct answer. The R hand in 30 minutes is going to cover 15 degrees. Okay, let's let's ask you another question. The R hand, the R hand in uh, let's say 40 minutes, okay, is going to cover how many degrees? Come on, type your answers in the comments box. Yes, Cypria, this will be useful for your NTSC. Okay, so all of you guys have given the correct answer for this one. All right, like uh, Manushri has come up with the answer followed by Lakshmi Sharma, then JP, then Samyak. We have Muskan as well. We have Parth. All right, now the names are flowing out pretty fast. Apologies for not reading out all of your names. But yes, 20 degrees is what a lot of you are saying, and I agree with that. Yes, so if it covers uh, half a degree in one minute, then in 40 minutes, it is going to cover 20 degrees. Okay, so our hand is also simple. Minute hand is also simple. Minute hand is quite logical, right? But just for the sake of clarity, I will ask you one question and then we will move on to the problems, okay? So the minute hand, the minute hand in, uh, let's say, 30 minutes, okay, is going to cover how many degrees? This will be the last question and then I'll move on so that I, underst I will understand that you have understood, all right? Other says I'm not able to give the answer. All right, why is it others? 30 minutes, 30 minutes, come on. I believe 180 is going to be the correct answer, right? We're talking about the minute hand, guys. Minute hand in one minute covers six degrees, right? In one minute, the minute hand covers six degrees. Like we have seen, I'm asking you, in 30 minutes, it is going to cover how much? So if you cross multiply, 180 degrees is going to be the correct answer. Well done, well done, well done. So we have understood this. Fairly simple fundamentals. Minute hand in one minute covers six degrees. Hour hand in one minute covers 0 0.5 degrees. And these are some basic ideas which, which using this we will be able to derive it on our own. Okay. So these are all the fundamentals. That's it. There's nothing more to it. Now I, I know you guys will be giving me the answers to the questions because you've understood the concept really well. Okay. So come on, let's move on now and check out the practice question so i'm going to throw one question first at you 
uh, uh, let's see how many of you catch it <laughs> and give me the answer to this. So this is a question. You guys know how it works, right? I give you 30 seconds and you tell me the answer in 30 seconds. So your 30 seconds are going to start now. So in a clock displayed at a wall, the time displayed is 9 o'clock in the morning. How many degrees will the R hand rotate? Okay, how many degrees will the R hand rotate when the clock shows 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Uh, no, Sakshi, there is not going to be any mentee, not in this session. This is a, a proper a, a, you know, question and answer session. So which of the following is going to be the correct answer? 120 degrees, 160 degrees, 180 degrees, or uh, uh, what is the option D here? 260 degrees. You can click it there. So we'll come to know how many of you have, have voted. Okay, so the time is up. Yeah, so what is going to be the correct answer? The correct answer is going to be, well done, well done, 180 degrees, which is option C, which is quite logical, right? Because if I have a clock like this, okay, let's say this is 9, this is 10, this is 11, this is 12, then 1, then 2, then 3, yeah? So at 9 o'clock, the R hand is going to be on 9, right? And the minute hand is going to be on 12, yeah? This is the R hand and this is the minute hand. At 3 o'clock, the R hand will be here, right? At 3, and the minute hand, of course, will be at 12. So how many degrees has the R hand covered? Well done. The R hand has covered uh, 180 degrees. 87% of you have answered C. Well done, well done. So we have understood this basic question. Come on, let's move on now and check it out. All right, so this is going to be the solution. As I said, this is a fairly simple one. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some interesting questions. All right, now my suggestion to you would be to understand this first, okay? And then you will be able to solve the other questions. Like what is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand when the time is 6.50, okay? So please make sure you are listening to the approach. Now, a lot of you may also know how to do it, all right? But still, I want you to listen the approach out so that you're able to answer the next set of questions, all right? Um, Archit has given the answer, says B. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in mind. All right, so I'm gonna bring on a shape. Okay, first, tell me. Angle between our hand and minute hand when time is 6.50. At 6.50, at this 6.50, where will the minute hand be? First, let me take a better color for this. Okay. The minute hand is going to be at 10. Right? This is the minute hand. Yes. The minute hand is going to be at 10. Lakshmi, you will understand the concept really well now. Just focus on the solution. Okay? Just focus on this problem. You will understand it. All right? Now, first thing, at 6.50, we all know how to say time, right? At 6.50, the minute hand is going to be pointing at 10, right? Pointing at 10. Now, we don't know where exactly the R hand is. We know that the R hand is somewhere between 6 and 7, very close to 7, okay? Look, the R hand, maybe it is here. This is where the hour hand is, okay? And this is the minute hand. So, look. A few angles I already know, like, like this angle here, I know this is how much? 30 degrees. I know this angle is also 30 degrees. I know this angle is also 30 degrees, right? So this part, I, I already know it, yeah? My problem is I don't know this small angle there, right? Look, it is going to be not 80, it is 650 here, all right? So just focus, okay, just focus here. Look, I'm asking about this angle here. All right, so look, at 6.50, let me just write this down for you. When the time is 6.50, this is the important part. The hour hand has moved for 50 minutes, right? That's what 6.50 means, right? The hour hand has moved for 50 minutes from 6 to 7. Now we know that the R hand in one minute, it covers how much? 0 0.5 degrees in one minute. We want to know in 50 minutes, the R hand is going to cover how many degrees? Okay, in 50 minutes, the R hand is going to cover how many degrees? Because the time is 6.50, 
which means the hour hand has been moving for 50 minutes from 6 to 7. Okay? Alright? Come on now. Cross multiply and then x is going to be how much? 50 multiplied with 0 0.5 which is going to be 25 degrees. Alright? So now I know for sure which color do I take? Okay. That this angle here is 25 degrees which means this angle should be how much? 5 degrees because the complete angle is 30 degrees right the complete angle from 6 to 7 is 30 the R hand has been moving for 50 minutes which means the R hand has covered 25 degrees it still has 5 more degrees to cover now you guys are giving the correct answer the correct answer is 95 I believe Manisha has said it followed by Prashansa Okay, so this is 25, which means the leftover angle that is there, this little angle that you see is going to be 5 degrees, right? This is going to be 5 degrees. Now, add the angles, okay? 30, 30, 30, and then 5. How much is that going to be? 30 degrees, plus 30 degrees, plus 30 degrees, plus 5 degrees. The correct answer is going to be 95 degrees. This is everything you need to know about clock questions okay at at your level all right obviously there will be level of difficulty which is going to be higher for some but at your level this is going to be the basic one all right look all you need to understand is when i say the time is 7 45 it means the hour hand has moved for 45 minutes when i say the time is let's say 8 30 the hour hand has moved for 30 minutes when i say the time is 9 50 it means the hour hand has moved for 50 minutes. Okay? This is all you've got to know. That's about it. So I'm sure you guys have understood this. Yeah? Come on. Let's see if you guys can solve the next question. So the right answer to this is going to be 95 degrees. I'm going to give you one question which is similar to this. Let's see how many of you can solve it. As I said, concept is very simple. When the time is given as 9.50 to you, you simply take the fact that our hand has been moving for 50 minutes okay come on let's let's check this question out now come on you guys tell me the answer to this what is the angle between the hour hand and minute hand when time is 7 30 go ahead uh, uh, take your time you know don't be in a rush take your time come on go ahead at 7 30 what is going to be the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand when I say angle, I mean the acute angle, obviously. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Muskan Jaiswal, the first one to answer, 45 degrees, followed by Sakshi, then Pradeep, Parth, Mona Lisa, I believe, yeah. Prashansa again, Anshi, Ankur, Samyak. Pragati, we have Kunal, Harsh, Mahesh, Chitra, Manushri, JP. Lakshmi says she has not understood it. Okay, Lakshmi, try to focus now. I think you should be able to understand this. All right, first things first. Let's bring on a clock. <laughs> this is how the time is going to look like, right? Uh, at at 7.30, yes? Cool. Now, we already know that this angle is 30 degrees, right? We've studied this. This angle is 30 degrees. But the hour hand is not at 7. It is somewhere between 7 and 8. Yeah, it is somewhere between 7 and 8. If I extend this, this is where the hour hand is, right? And this is the minute hand, okay? Now, when I talk about the time being 7.30, what does it mean? It means this. The hour hand has been moving for 30 minutes right from 7 to 8 the time is 7 30 the hour hand has been moving for 30 minutes so how do we you know derive information out of it now we know that in one minute this guy covers 0 0.5 degrees the hour hand so 30 minutes how much will he cover cross multiply and this will be 30 multiplied with 0 0.5 degrees, which is going to give you 15 degrees, right? So now we know this small angle is 
15 degrees. Add it up, that's it. So this complete angle will be how much? 30 degrees plus 15 degrees giving you, well done, 45 degrees. Yes, you could also, I was asking you the acute angle. All the options were, were less than 90. If you want this angle, of course, from 360 subtract 45, you will get the other angle. Okay, I believe Lakshmi has understood now. Yeah, because Lakshmi, it, it all depends on time. Look, as I said, again, if the time is 4.42, even a time like this, 4.42, it simply means that the hour hand has been moving for 42 minutes okay so 42 minutes get multiplied by 0 0.5 and and you say that the r hand has covered 21 degrees i hope most wrote centigrade there yeah so 21 degrees that's it this is a simple question come on let's bring on another one for you okay this thing is it, going to require some some what do i say some thinking from your side yeah that's that's right so if the second hand moves 3600 times then how many degrees will the minute hand move at the same time come on go ahead and tell me the answer to this I'm going to give you time to think, you know, take your papers, pens, and then and, and, and scribble something, <laughs> you know, hopefully you'll get the correct answer. All right. Sir, please tell my full name. Okay. Sakshi Pathak. Pi. That's my favorite irrational number. Menti, I believe, is, is going to follow maybe sometimes next week. Not, not today. I, yeah. Chitra, is that, is that the answer that you guys are giving? 360 degrees? All right, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry I didn't uh, uh, check who was the first one to answer, but yeah, you guys are pretty much saying the correct answer, I think. Since all of you are saying 360, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so shall we check out the answers? Okay, time to check the answer. Second hand moves 3,600 times. All right, first things, I'm sure you know this basic, right? That one minute, okay, let me just change the color. Let me bring a brighter color here, okay? So one minute has how many seconds? We know that one minute has 60 seconds, right? Yes. Now second hand has moved 3,600 times, okay? So I want to know in 3,600 seconds, how many minutes will be there, okay? So one minute has 60 seconds. So 3,600 seconds are going to have how many minutes? The process is simple. You know, it's, it's pretty much all we've been doing so far. Cross multiplying. Uh, let's call this X here, by the way. So 3600 multiplied with 1 is equal to X multiplied with 60. I'm sure you guys are aware of the cross multiplication technique, right? So dividing both the sides by 60, I get the value of X as 3600 divided by 60, which is going to be 60. Okay, so in 3600 seconds, Okay, there are 60 minutes, right? Good. So this was not a difficult step, simple step, right? How many degrees will the minute hand move at the same time? So we simply have to figure out in 60 minutes, how many uh, uh, you know, degrees will the minute hand move? We already know this. The minute hand in one minute covers six degrees. So in 60 minutes, it will cover how much? Same thing, cross multiply. This is all we've been doing so far, as I said. So the answer to this is going to be 360 degrees. Well done. Muskan says she was the first one to answer. I am pretty amazed. Okay. Thank you all of you for engaging so well, you know, giving all the answers and all of that. I'm having fun. I'm sure you guys are as well. So uh, we've understood this, right? How this is going to be 360 degrees, right? So fairly simple question. Come on. Next question coming up for you. All right. Let's see what do we do here. All right, so let's bring it on. 30 seconds. Okay, what is the ratio of 15 minutes to one hour? Come on, I'm going to give you 30 seconds for this. Uh, tell me the correct answer. <clears throat> uh, Pradeep, there will be no menti quiz today. Okay, not, not in this session. What is the ratio of 15 minutes to one hour? I'm sure you guys know this. Yeah, one hour, how many minutes? Farida is the first one to answer, I think. Padmashri says one is to three, but I believe Farida Parveen has given the correct answer. Uh, option D, one is to four. I believe that is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and check it out. That's it, because it's a simple thing, right? 15 minutes, the ratio of 15 minutes to 
one hour. Now, ratio is a comparison between similar quantities. So, I've got to get this hour converted into minutes. All right. So, this is going to be what? 50 minutes is to 60 minutes because I know one hour has 60 minutes there. So, this is pretty much now a ratio of 15 is to 60. Right. So, cancel off any common factors. This is going to be 15 times 1. 60 is nothing but 15 times 4. So 15, as you can see, is the common factor. I will cr cross it out. And now the, 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 the ratio becomes 1 is to 4, making option D the correct answer. Well done, well done. All of you have given the correct answer. Amazing. Let's move on and check out the next question for you now. All right, so what is the ratio? Okay, this is the solution. You know, there's no need for this. We've already understood it. So minute hand covers 72 degrees. How many degrees the R hand covers? Okay, this short should also be a fairly simple one, right? Come on, go ahead and answer this one out. If the minute hand covers 72 degrees, then how many degrees has the R hand covered? Okay. Well done, Muskan. Well done. Yes, Lakshmi, I'm sure. I, I do remember you. Chitra says very simple. Okay, now, now let's see how many of you can uh, crack this. Manisha says 6 degrees. Sakshi Pathak says 36. Facts on fire, 6. Manushri, 12. Husna, hello. Alright, we're getting mixed answers here. Some of you are saying 6, some of you are saying 12. I believe some of you have also said uh, uh, 36. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, I'm not able to decide. Majority is, is saying what, but, but, but still. Let's see. Let's try to work this one out. Okay, minute hand is going to cover 72 degrees, right? So we know this, right? We know this basic fact that the minute hand in one minute is going to cover 6 degrees, right? We've learned it. I want to know in 72 degrees, how many minutes are there? Yeah, so if I cross multiply, this is going to be 72 divided by 6 degrees, which is going to be how much? Which is going to be 12 minutes. So it has actually been 12 minutes, right? So how many degrees does the R hand cover? Now you know this, right? In one minute, the, now this is, okay, let me just put this properly. This was with respect to the minute hand, okay? Minute hand. Now we are calculating with respect to the hour hand. These are the calculations related to the hour hand. Now we know that it has been 12 minutes, right? So our hand in one minute covers 0 0.5 degrees. Now if the minute hand has moved for 12 minutes, the hour hand will also move for 12 minutes. That's how our clock functions, right? So in 12 minutes, it is going to cover how much? Cross multiply and this is going to be 12 multiplied with 0 0.5 and the right answer, well done, like a majority you have given up, up is 6. I believe Manisha was the first to answer. Good job guys, good job. Nothing gives me more happiness than you guys coming up with the correct answer. Well done. The right answer is going to be 6 degrees. No problem Lakshmi, no problem, no problem. As long as you've understood it now, the work is done. Okay? Don't be up, up, you know, afraid to give out answers, right or wrong, you know, doesn't matter. What matters is whether you've understood and learned from your mistakes or not. Okay, never mind, Sakshi as well. If you've understood it, that's great. Okay, so you've understood it, right? In one minute, the minute hand covers six degrees. So in 72 degrees, it is going to travel for 12 minutes, right? So in a similar way, the R hand in one minute covered 0 0.5, which means in the same 12 minutes, it's going to cover six degrees. Yes? Yep. Awesome. Come on. Let's move on now. Homework time. Let's see how many of you can get this one correct. What is the angle between the hour hand and minute hand at 750? I believe we did it for 650. So this is going to be 750. So you guys should write the answers in the comments box. Yeah. And one more thing. I believe it was JP, if I'm correct, who said Christian Huygens was considered to be the guy who invented the clock. And as I said, if you know of any such amazing facts, please make sure you share them with us in the comments below. Okay, so that's it. Just just type the answers to this in the comments box along with any fun facts that you have. I'll, I, I really love those kind of things. All right. So last thing again, I've got to remind you about the Telegram channel in case some students have joined us later, late in the session. Uh, please make sure you join this channel. The link to this would be there in the descriptions box because this is where 
the session notes with all the handwritings for you to revise would be shared along with pretty much other exciting things. Yep. So we've got you covered. Of course, we know about that. And then uh, you must be participating in these, I'm sure of that, right? The science project, the level up series, the explorers club, you know, the summer camp sessions. And I'm sure you guys are having fun with these as well. And lastly, uh, there will be a link to a free trial class, guys. And the link would be there in the descriptions box, free right you've got nothing to lose just click on that link and utilize uh, one of the sessions and lastly i'd like to ask you for this in case you've liked this session please make sure you hit the like button it'll mean a lot to us and it'll encourage us to come up with more sessions like these and uh, share the session with your friends as well they will find it pretty helpful and lastly in case you still haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel all right okay so sakshi has said the video is interesting chalo nice i i I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so that's it from my side. I hope the session was entertaining and it was a good learning exercise for you, right? Until the next time we're meeting, please remember to take care of yourself, keep practicing, and thank you for your time. You've been amazing as usual. Take care. Bye-bye.